Russians suffering drastic losses trying to advance towards Kharkiv, some units are wiped out. Russian units are suffering heavy losses in the Kharkiv direction, and at times units of the occupation army are losing about two-thirds of their personnel. This was reported by the Atesh Partisan Movement, citing its own sources. The largest and most significant losses are being suffered by Russian assault units. As a result of heavy fighting, separate units of the 138th Independent Motorized Rifle Brigade 18th Motorized Rifle Division and 7th Independent Motorized Rifle Regiment have lost combat capability. Losses in killed and wounded amount to up to 70% of the personnel, Atesh noted. Ukrainian partisans explain that clashes between line units of the Russian Armed Forces and Storm Z have played a weighty role in this. It is not easy for all the commanders to manage former prisoners, even for those who have rich military experience, Atesh noted. Kharkiv, located in Ukraine's northeast, just 30 kilometers from Russia's border, has faced intensifying aerial attacks in recent months. Moscow also launched a major assault on the wider Kharkiv region last week, capturing several border villages and triggering Ukraine to evacuate thousands from the area. This pressure is aimed at pushing people to leave, to worry them. This is the tactic of the Russian Federation, Kharkiv Mayor Ihor Terikov told. Some military analysts say Moscow may be trying to force Ukraine to divert troops from other areas of the front line, such as around the strategic town of Chasiv Yar in the Donetsk region, where Russia has also been advancing. Kharkiv regional head Ole Sanehubov said Russia was deliberately trying to stretch the front line by attacking in small groups in new directions. He told that Ukrainian forces were holding Russian troops back, but warned that fighting could spread to new settlements. Residents fleeing towns and villages close to the fighting have been arriving in their hundreds at an aid hub in Kharkiv city. Wildfire season has arrived in full force in western Canada, prompting evacuation orders and alerts in several towns in British Columbia and neighboring Alberta due to the danger of uncontrolled blazes, hundreds of residents in four neighborhoods in the southern end of Canada's oil sand hub of Fort McMurray, Alberta, were ordered to evacuate with a wildfire threatening the community, authorities said. A large wildfire is slowly approaching the major Canadian oil sand city of Fort McMurray and around 6,000 people in four suburbs have been told to evacuate, local officials said. With over 100 active wildfires burning in Canada, wildfire smoke has drifted across the border into the United States, prompting Minnesota officials to issue the state's first air quality alert of 2024. Forecasts called for wind that could blow a growing wildfire closer to Fort Nelson. Emergency workers had been phoning as many of the estimated 50 residents still in town and urging them to go. The community of about 4,700 and the neighboring Fort Nelson First Nation have been under an evacuation order since last Friday. Northern Rockies Regional Municipality Mayor Rob Fraser said one drawback of the evacuation is the challenge for essential staff, including firefighters, to find food. Canada's oil sands industry produces roughly 3.3 million barrels per day of crude, two-thirds of Canada's total output. In 2023, Canada experienced a record number of wildfires that caused choking smoke in parts of the U.S. and forced more than 235,000 Canadians to evacuate their communities. At least four firefighters died.